Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and welcome to Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival. And oh my gosh, guys, after six months, we're finally on episode 10. This is pretty insane. And to celebrate, as you can see, face cam, and as you can see, computer audio recording, oh yeah, got earplugs in, skull candy, this video is not funded by them though. But yeah, episode 10, and oh geez, uh, as you can see that redstone clock is just clicking away, clickety click click click, but m let me get away from that. Up, oh, you saw the thing I, was, I built, well some updates, one I put some vine, just a few vines here so I can collect it, so whenever I want I can go hunt a vine, but I need, of course I need a sear, a sear to actually collect it, and I thought why not here, because... I don't really want to build a designated place for it unless I completely automate it. Uh, and I don't want to completely show you my new thing. I'm going to show you it on the map. Uh, that clicking sound. Let me just mute it for now. Okay. And here we are. For one thing, subscriber count island has been completed. And we've got uh, 13 subscribers right now. It was 14, but I was lazy for a week, so I lost one. I gotta post super often to keep them subscribers up. And here, as you can see, we got ourselves a new building. I've been working on this all day yesterday, uh, and a bunch of today. And I, it's pretty cool. It's the first restaurant, other than the Bubbly Pub, because the Bubbly Pub is a pub, not a traditional restaurant. Uh, so, and that's not complete yet. But this is our first actual restaurant here on, in Stranded City. And just to tell you, I built this almost entirely out of clay. Because I took that nether mine all the way over to the nether way off in the distance, like a million blocks away. Well, technically like 10,000 blocks away. And I got like 20 stacks of clay. It was pretty insane. And now let's go walk down the road there. But because of this new restaurant, I'm going to probably just get rid of this farm entirely. I have no need for weed ever again. Probably. There's the bubbly pub still under construction. As you can see, I've gone a bit further. I've uh, Well, I've done pretty much nothing with the interior. And up here, upstairs, I don't want to reveal it. Uh, I got this little thing. And I got a balcony here. I got fences so people won't fall off. And there's lapis platform. Uh, jump. Okay. And now, uh, the villager farm has sucked so far. Uh, he's been farming and stuff, but I haven't gotten a single baby. Do I need, like, another villager in there? I have no clue. It's just not working at this point. And I need a better curve in the road right here. But now, for the first restaurant. Da 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 da! As you can tell, it's a chicken restaurant! And uh, I built a big chicken head out of clay, and as you can see, it's pretty much entirely clay. I'm not super duper creative, I wanted to build something out of clay. But this is Welcome to Mick Mother Cluckers! So, yes, that's what I named it. Home of Stranded City's Greatest Chicken. Well, technically, it's the only chicken in the whole city. Well, you may be asking, why didn't I do this on camera? Well, the problem with this city is there's no chickens anywhere. Literally, I went over 300 blocks away from Stranded City. No chickens. And I just continued walking for several days and stuff. And eventually, I found one chicken. And I took him back, stuck him in the neck farm, and now I've got a crap ton of chickens. So now let's go into Mick Mother Clucker. So, we got two farms in here. This is the egg generator. Insert your into chicken grinder to get more chicken. Uh, but this is simple. There's just chickens in there. They go into the hoppers. And as you can see, it's a pretty effective farm. This is about, uh, Today, I got about twice this much, but I put half of it in the chicken grinder, which I will explain to a second. Uh, and just so you know, uh, I'll just show you the chicken input 
section. It's, uh, I was stupid and put the ladder on the back. I haven't fixed it yet. But as you can see, I got myself some chickies in there. And they just poop out eggs every once in a while. And that's pretty darn good. Uh, but you may be asking, how is that going to... You said you don't need any weed anymore. But you do, because the thing with uh, eggs is to cook stuff like uh, cakes and stuff. You still need the wheat. But, I've gotten a completely new food supply. Automated cooked chicken. Automated cooked chicken. Infinite chicken forever. Look at this. This is in the past, like, two days. I've gotten three stacks of cooked chicken plus one. I'm never gonna have to farm again. And down here, feathers and more feathers. That's my feather supply. Isn't it nice? And this is the whole redstone we're seeing behind it. And I've got a ladder inside this time, which is good. Uh, so you come up on here, and you see all the chickens. I have quite a few more in here. Now, there are two things. One, the chickens poop their eggs in here, and two, when you get your eggs from the egg generator, you can toss them in here and it makes it go faster. You can either hatch more chickens in here or just throw them into the hoppers automatically. Now, this is where it gets a bit complicated. The, all the eggs go through the hoppers and into this dispenser. It can't be a dropper. It has to be a dispenser. Oh, I, I need to put the volume on, actually. Uh, there's going to be a quiet episode about it. Oh, but chicken's dying. Yeah, let's see. Yes, I got some more breasts. The chicken breast. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. Uh, this is how it works. Let me just turn that down a little. Don't want the chickens to be too loud, don't you? I don't die. Uh, so they go into here, and the dispensers all find dandy. But you'd say, how did it fire? Well, normally I do a redstone clock, but I didn't want to because, uh, because as you know, they're really loud and annoying like that one. Oh, well, you just saw it go off. Uh, like the one I have in there, uh, at my iron golem farm. So, I thought, how can I do this? I actually saw, I got this design for the automated chicken farm from the YouTuber Mumbo Jumbo. He's a great guy. Go check out Mumbo Jumbo. Subscribe to his channel. He's not a noob channel like me. 850,000 subscribers. He's a good guy. Just go watch him. He's a redstone master. It goes in here. In this comparator, as you can see, I hit it with a redstone so it's in minus mode. So whenever an item goes in here, it turns on. So I've got redstone here, repeater here, one repeater over there that goes into a solid block. So I don't quite know how it works, but whenever it, it, an item goes into this dispenser, it activates the redstone clock and suits it out. So. Uh, yeah, you can see it down here a bit. Let's see if I can actually... No, I can only really get the hopper from here. I don't want to really do all that at the moment. But you understand what I mean. X get, eh, basically, X go in here, clock fires, and it suits out the egg. And it suits it into this chamber where you see all the baby chickens. Uh, yeah. Uh, so these chickens, as you can see, they're on a half slab, and there's lava directly above their head. Now... They're gonna be fine there, they don't burn the lava because they're babies, but the second they grow up, their heads go into the lava, and they're like, ah, and they burn up, and then they drop their chicken breasts and their eggs into this chest, and the feathers get sucked down into here. When I get too many feathers, I'll flick the switch, and feathers will get sent away, which is a really good system I got. Uh... So, that's how it all works. Uh, and I'll just uh, give you a little demonstration. I'll get a few... Uh, I'll get a few stacks of my eggs from here. There's a really good farm because this directly fills up this farm. When I toss the eggs in. I can actually automate it to throw eggs in, but I like to have an extra supply. So, as you can see, I'm just throwing the eggs, not trying to get a baby. Because now they'll go directly into the dispenser. And as you can see, that redstone's firing, and it's automatically throwing all the eggs. And as you can see, the amount of babies in there is multiplying exponentially. So, up, it used up all its eggs. So, as you can see, there's more baby chickens in there now. And so, those baby chickens in there will eventually grow up and get me more chicken breasts. And that's how the chicken meat grinder works. I'm planning on putting some tables and chairs in here to finish the place up. But, 
Uh, you have to admit, that's pretty freaking sweet. I've now got automatic chicken in a great little uh, uh, a great little sock. Uh, Mick, uh, Mick, Mother Clucker is gonna be the best restaurant in Stranded City at this point for its automatic eggs and roast chicken breast. Booyah! And that's how you're a success at Minecraft. And if you enjoyed this episode, how about you leave a like, a comment, and maybe, even if you really feel like it, subscribe and join the Action Empire. Uh, that would be amazing. More videos are on the way. I've been, had a really busy week, but more videos are definitely on the way. Do you have any more suggestions for how this place should look? Should I add more color? Or I don't know. Give me suggestions. And if you like that, uh, I just, I don't want to keep repeating myself. Until next time, I'm Axel Azuli from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and goodbye!